to five minutes. Thank you, Madam Chair. I appreciate it. I really appreciate you holding this hearing. It's so very important, and uh, we it timely. Uh, and of course, we have to get it right. But uh, let me be clear: under no circumstances should youth have access to tobacco products. Period. And that's the way I feel, and I think most people feel the same way. Uh, so while this committee and the FDA are working to address the real epidemic of youth use of tobacco products and lung injuries linked to illicit black market vaping products, we should also be sure we are not creating unintended consequences that will lead to a future public health crisis or exacerbate the current one. I remain committed, of course, to working with the chair and all my committee members on both sides of the aisle. Um, Dr. Siegel, uh, CDC recently highlighted data showing that cigarette smoking has fallen to historic lows. That's been mentioned in this committee. This is a positive advancement for public health, and we should be providing current adult smokers with more tools. Not necessarily e-cigarettes, but I, you know that, that's why we're having this hearing to get the facts uh, from the experts. So, but not we don't we want to provide them more tools uh, if they're less harmful uh, to quit and, and transition to low risk products. Congress is no stranger to unintended consequences. Unfortunately, could this bill make it harder for current adult users of traditional combustible? tobacco products to transition to a modified risk tobacco product. And then let me ask, uh, first of all, what, can you answer that question, please, sir? Yeah, this bill, if enacted as it is with the flavored e cigarette ban, is yeah. going to wreak havoc with smokers. It's going to make it incredibly difficult for them to quit smoking um, by, by using flavored uh, e-liquids. And it's also going to force many ex-smokers who have already quit to go back to, to smoking. Um, we know that e-cigarettes are the most effective smoking cessation tool using nicotine. Um, they outperform nicotine patches by, by double. So uh, the New England Journal of Medicine published a clinical trial published earlier this year which showed that uh, switching to vaping e-cigarettes is twice as effective as a nicotine patch in helping smokers quit. So this is currently the best option we have for smokers to quit. Two million of them have quit using flavored e-cigarettes. Why would we want to take that away from them? Yeah, but we don't want to. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. But, uh, again, I don't want my kids uh, or, uh, you know, youth uh, smoke, uh, vaping. Uh, you know, I understand, and we heard it today. I've heard it several times uh, over the last few years that, uh, what is it, uh, the nicotine, uh, the, the amount of nicotine is equivalent to uh, in, in one e-cigarette or jewel, what have you. Uh, a, a pack of cigarettes. I mean, that's terrible. Mm -hmm. uh, and 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 then and our kids are get being addicted. And I just don't see. Uh, I think that there's going to be a rise in the future. Uh, and we've got to do something about it. But I want to do the right thing. I don't want to just uh, pass a bill uh, and then and have the unintended consequences. Or uh, pass a bill and we pat ourselves on the back and say we've solved the problem, where well, we really didn't. So. Uh, Dr. Siegel, with recent reports of patients, especially youth, being hospitalized with lung injuries associated with vaping, uh, illicit black, uh, black market THC, and flavored nicotine home brews, uh, does this bill uh, address this public health concern? And I, I think I know the answer to that. You, you've testified, but if you want to elaborate, that would be good. It doesn't. It doesn't. This this is going to outlaw the legal sale by retail stores of um, of electronic cigarettes, of flavored products. These are not the products that are causing uh, the the terrible deaths and severe respiratory failure that we're seeing. And in my opinion, it's actually going to make the problem worse because I think when youth are no longer no longer have access to flavored e-liquids, um, what the suppliers are going to start supplying is going to be THC because that's what they can get their hands on. Okay, well, thank you very much, and I uh, look forward to working with you all. I yield back, Madam Chair. Uh, the gentleman yields back. Uh, Dr. Siegel, I I'd like to ask you a quick question. Uh, are you representing the public health school at Boston University in, in your